the objective really was to create an active learning space, a space that brings together the, the pedagogy, the teaching methodology as it were, the space, the learning environment and the technology. At the university we've always had this um, idea to just stretch the boundary a little to see what we can achieve that isn't maybe standard practice yet across the sector but where we can explore what might be as well. The remits for the rooms were built upon notions of collaboration and active learning. So those are the foundations. It wasn't a kit or technology driven project. It was a project driven by the notion that we wanted to enable students to actively learn, to interact and collaborate with one another and with staff and that's the philosophy behind the rooms. Right, okay, this is the uh, exemplar room at Staffordshire University where we've installed uh, a reasonably sophisticated audio-visual system. Basically from the, the teaching position here, um, we've got a number of inputs that we can put into the system. We've got um, a standard room PC, we've got uh, a Blu-ray player, we've got the ability to plug in your own laptop, whether it be a, an analog laptop using VGA or a digital laptop using HDMI, and we also have the Wolf Vision Synap collaboration system, which is the, the first one of these in the world to be installed um, with, a, with a customer. From this position here, we can then send any information, so any of the inputs can go on to the displays that we have in the room. So in the room, we've effectively got four displays. We've got two high definition projectors, projecting onto the screens at the front of the room and then we have two LCD displays at the back of the room um, displaying that same information as well. What we've got the ability to do is to send any one of those inputs onto any one of the displays but also each display has its own input as well so that if you have a laptop that you want to plug into a display at the back of the room then you can do that just by connecting to the uh, the laptop plate underneath. The system is controlled via uh, an Extron touchscreen system and this allows you to switch between the different inputs and adjust the volume of both the main show sound and also the microphone on the lectern as well. We also have a, a visualizer that can be shown as well so if you've got 3D objects or printed material that can be shown uh, on any of the, the displays as well. The sign up allows people to to collaborate um, wirelessly as well so anybody who's brought in their own device whether it be an iPad or an Android tablet or their own laptop computer can basically log on to the system and the information from their screen can be displayed onto the, the, main, the main screens. Um, in addition to that, the, uh, the sign up has the ability to um, store that information so it can record uh, a collaborative session as it's going on and it also has the ability to, to stream that as well. We also in the room have a smart cap, which is a, a standalone whiteboard device. What that enables you to do is to write on the, on the whiteboard, which will then wirelessly transmit the information that's on that whiteboard onto uh, a device such as a iPad or an Android tablet. The audio system, um, basically a standard audio system with a lectern microphone and show sound and that is output through the speakers and we also have uh, an infrared hard of hearing device as well.